Ja, ja, das tut auch nicht weiter. Okay. So, um, anyway, if I start to record, yeah, so... We are here to speak about your brother uh, today. Uh, can you tell us what happened to him in Vienna? Yes, uh, my brother uh, apparently killed himself in 2012, I think in July. I got the uh, news, uh, the information from the police because I called him from Paris mm -hmm. and they told me your brother is dead and I was shocked of course and uh, I have to say that my brother was, uh, came to Austria in 1989 as a refugee, political refugee and uh, maybe one or two years after that uh, he started to uh, gamble. He came here to uh, get to his aims, target that he made for himself, study, and you know. But unfortunately, he met these, what he called always dead machines. They really kill people. And Novomatic and the company who, uh, how do you say, put these machines everywhere, they don't really understand or they don't care about what these machines do to the people. I have seen people. Uh, I knew a person whose name was Hans and he told me every time I see him I have lost all my money and I have to eat the rest of the month uh, kartoffel, potatoes, yeah? And this, this kind of situation a lot of people they have or they had in Austria and I'm really happy that the government, uh, Austrian government put this machine away and took them away because a lot of people they were unhappy and uh, ruin it. But uh, if the law says, uh, but if the law says uh, you cannot play more than 50 cent a game, yeah, and cannot win more than 20 euro a game, uh, how it can be that he lost so much? Yeah, that's the one of the things with the Novomatic machines. They say so. They, it was I remember it was written 50 cent on the machine. And uh, there is a there were kind of, I don't remember, I don't know what's called in English, you can, whenever you, you go higher, it changes with the points. And uh, old machines, they were about up to six euro, and uh, new machines up to ten, uh, nine or ten, ten euro, yes. And uh, uh, 50 euro, 50 cents, that was just illusion, say to the people, and 20 euro maximum. Uh, sometimes you could play a 10 euro and I, I used to see, I used to see myself in uh, Prater or some other places. You could, people, and you, the, the problem with this machine was uh, that you could put on automatic, play automatic, the machine play, and putting hundreds and hundreds, 500 euro uh, notes you could put in these machines. 50 cents and 500 euro notes. You imagine the difference, and people, they, you know, they, they couldn't realize what they are doing, and put on the automatic button, and it goes four or five machines at the same time they used to play. When I saw that, uh, my brother took me to the Prata, I said, oh, they can do that, how oh, is it possible? 500 euro, he's putting four or five machines, and machines they are going on. And uh, another thing that was uh, with these machines, that uh, when it says 50 cents, you play at 10 euro, it comes, for example, two, 300 euro or more uh, gain. And people, they used to, uh, gamble this with uh, two buttons, which is, was red and black, and take this money immediately, you know, away. It was gone. You couldn't uh, get it back. And there was another thing that they used to cheat, I have to say. I can, I can prove it myself. My brother showed me. It was called um, Hage, action games. Get to this uh, point that Novomatic uh, one day should explain uh, to the people why uh, they have to get richer and richer and richer and people they have to pay of their life like my brother or like the others or they have we have lots of people who don't have anything left because of this they have lost their job they have lost their family there are lots of family because most of the gamblers are men one woman and children they have left, left left them because they were gamblers and now they are alone I would like that Novomatic explain one day and uh, uh, show his responsibility 
uh, about this, uh, what has, ha has done with these machines. This is very important and automatic, even if they have to bring him to the justice, to people should understand and they have to explain why. The question is why should people should uh, get addicted to these machines, the way that they uh, programmed these machines. Because as we said earlier, 50 cent, 10 euro, 500 euro gain or more, and you just in one second you push on it and it's gone. This is not the same thing that they say and they, they were supposed to bring to the people. 50 cents, you cannot, uh, you know, make yourself, uh, you cannot destroy yourself with 50 cents or 20 euro gain. With what they were, really the machines, that's something else. I think the, the Austrian government one day should uh, study uh, these machines and uh, uh, understand that this was not what the Movematic was telling to the people. It was absolutely, I can assume what I say and I can prove it, that it was really cheating and uh, lying to the people. I think uh, the justice in Austria should put a machine with all the games they have and put the money inside and ask them to explain how it's possible. Put it on the, uh, I mean, 50 cents or 10 euro each game. And then you will see how they have to explain how it's possible that I go with 2,000 euro and I come out with zero in my pocket. Did you try to talk to Malomatic about this after the death of your brother? Uh, I, I tried to, I, I said to Magistrat, can I um, uh, sue Novomatic about these things? He said, you are not the only one and you want to, uh, he's a, like a lion, he told me. He's like a lion over there and you cannot do anything about them because they will not let you. They are so powerful. And my brother uh, uh, tempted to kill himself two times before that. And once he called me in Paris to say to me goodbye. And I talked to him, I, I told him, please go and open the door. I called the Rettung and police and I called from Paris. And I told him my brother, has taken a lot of medicaments and he wants to kill himself. Please send an ambulance. And they, they did this. And I, when I called, they said, don't worry, we have taken him to the hospital. It's going to be okay. But finally, he couldn't stand it anymore. He really couldn't stand it. He says in his memories that this is not a life. I cannot control myself. As soon as I get the money, he, he even didn't go to buy something to eat for, you know, to put it at home directly to the bank and all the money, not at, its, uh, at uh, once, but every two hours goes to the bankomat, take the money and go again. And, you know, and he, he told me, I, can, I have no more control. I cannot live like this. It's, uh, it's uh, impossible. So I think uh, he decided to finish it. So in, in this case, he's not a, uh, he's not a, uh, how do you say, wait for me or for our, for our family or for the society that if he goes and every month do the same thing yeah so that's why i think he he did it finally he sent a letter uh, to say that uh, he's uh, complaining about uh, pneumatic machines that uh, he says in his letter that pneumatic machines are the mafia he says clearly in his letter and uh, he says in this letter, if you don't help me, I will kill myself. But again, they ignored him. They didn't do anything, they didn't help him. Uh, do you have any proof for this, what you say? Yes, I have, a, I have a letter here that he sent, uh, uh, just I think four or five weeks before uh, he killed himself, it's here. And in this letter, he's, he says, uh, that uh, he has been, uh, he has lost his uh, everything he has had because of the Novomatic machines, and uh, he explains how these machines shortly do, and he says that he doesn't have anything, and if nobody else helps him, he will kill himself, and he did it, unfortunately. Yeah. So on the letter is is a stamp from the magistrate. Yeah, as you can see. I, I brought this letter to the magistrate and he put uh, his stamp to recognize the letter is uh, authentic, you know, there is a real uh, letter. Yes.
You know, my, I didn't get to the, my brother's funeral because nobody informed me. They found him in his apartment and they buried him in Central Fritov without informing me, without informing the family. He was a uh, refugee, okay, they are not allowed to inform the family in Iran, but they knew that he has a brother in Paris and they could inform me so I could take care of you know, everything after his death. Uh, I, I got the news from the police when I called the, the police, and that, 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 that makes me very, very sad. Uh, that I, uh, I, I, liked, I love my brother, and I, I, I have done lots of things to after his death to, to understand why, why they didn't inform me, why uh, you know this pneumatic uh, did this to him and other people that he killed himself, and it makes me really sad that I couldn't even uh, be present on his uh, funeral. Yes. Okay, let's